are um, and what the governor deems necessary to meet the immediate needs of the crisis. We will spend hundreds of millions of dollars on testing. We will spend, you know, uh, tens of millions of dollars on um, contact tracing, quarantining, isolation, food delivery, etc. So the vast bulk of it will be to meet these immediate needs, and I need to make sure we budget it over 12 months. Best guess is we won't have a vaccine until, call it a year from now. So I'm budgeting and saying, okay, we have to make sure we can maintain all of this for until say next May, next June 1st. We got to spend approximately 10% and you're looking 150 million out of the 1.25, maybe a little bit more. Ben, but we have a line of sight to have, we have probably allocated five or six, 500 million. Yeah, commitments, commitments. So we'll, like right now, and again, if, if it's hard for me to do this from memory, but law, over the course of the year, we'll spend 250 million on testing alone. Year to date, we've spent a fraction of that. Are you holding some back, hoping, so there's been this big discussion in Washington about helping the states balance yes. their budgets, and so 1.25 billion is a good chunk of money for Rhode Island. Yeah. And so there are some businesses right now facing cash flow yeah. issues that could use, I mean, you could allocate 100 million right now, and for those that are looking at 50% allocate of capacity on restaurants or whatever, to get that money out the door now. There's some people I've had who contact me and said, hey, the governor's holding that money back because we're facing huge red ink. Correct. What about getting that money out the door now and worrying about your testing money at the end of the year, you've got businesses that aren't going to make it to the end of the year. If you don't get money out the door now, some of that money. Well, I don't think that's the right way to So look, you make a good point, but here's the thing. We, we do have an $800 million deficit. As I stand here today, I am hopeful that the federal government is going to do the right thing and send states another stimulus. I cannot guarantee that. One of the options they're considering is to give us flexibility with the one and a quarter billion to solve some of the budget hole. So I'm trying to, it's a delicate balance. I mean, some- Because that's in the back of your mind. Yes. It's like the Google one. Absolutely. In North Providence, St. Police, East Providence, they had this huge pile of money yeah. years ago. They could only spend it for a specific thing. Well, then they got creative and they said, well, as long as you have the money, you can use it. So if you're not expecting more money to come in, there's some people who want that money right now dedicated to businesses, and you seem to have different streams in your mind. Well, I just need a little more clarity from the Congress, and I am told that we're going to have a lot more clarity at the end of June. If I knew today, Speaker Pelosi's bill, which passed the House, would send to Rhode Island another billion dollars to help us solve our budget deficit. If I get that, I'd spend the one and a quarter billion tomorrow because I would like to help all these restaurants. Absolutely. Now, somehow, I don't think her bill is going to pass the Senate. So, in the, it, yeah, in light of this uncertainty, I'm going to continue to meet the needs of the emergency. Rental assistance. We're going to have to do something for businesses. We have to keep doing the testing. But if at the end of June, Congress says, "Sorry, you're on your own." but you can use some of your one and a quarter billion to fill your budget hole, I think everyone's gonna be happy that I held some back.